You do it? It's your book. <laughs> oh, you just did it! <laughs> Have that. <laughs> uh, I have a book coming out October 2nd. Wow. Cool. All right. And, uh, I the, book. the book is called Full, the book, Full Disclosure. The book is called Full Disclosure. Well, you were only with Donald Trump, like, for what, two times? How much can you disclose? There's a lot <laughs> really? in the book. But the book um, isn't just about that. That doesn't define me. No. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, you did this for, you know, whatever. Everybody who knows me and has known me for a long time knows I've been working on a book for about 10 years. Hmm. So I just sort of melded everything together. I've kept notebooks, for, you know, the adventures I've had on the road and in strip clubs and stuff. It'll blow your mind. But are you going to give details of that night in the hotel with the... Yes. You are? Yes. That'll be juicy. It's full disclosure. <laughs> That's why I named it yeah. that. Storm, you just on well, that. Well, yeah, the, the, the president just puckered. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling maybe you already heard through the grapevine that that mm -hmm. was going to happen. But you already spoke to that. There are going to be a lot of people that are just hearing this that say this feeds into what I've thought the whole time about Stormy Daniels. Right. So this was always about making money and making a name for herself. And now it's just a platform and she can write a book and it will sell. It, it'll probably sell better than my book would have before. Mm -hmm. uh, but I all the stuff it. that I wanted to include and have been working on. As a matter of fact, I actually did a test listening uh, read of a book mm -hmm. three years ago uh -huh. at the Exotica conventions. I held panels where I tested chapters from the book uh -huh. to see how it would do. So the, the book was always going to happen. It just what? now has more information I'm not in sure it. That, you know, I'm, you know, everybody writes a book. Everybody yeah. writes a book all about all kinds of stuff. And, you know, if you write a book and it sells well and it does well for you, What's the matter with that? Mm -hmm. I don't understand so, why people yeah. have such a... A lot of times you need a platform to sell it, though. You need a name to sell it. But let, me, let, me, let me say this. Yes. Um, the first time that I read this manuscript, I had to put it down three times because I was so moved by this book. This is an incredible book, mm -hmm. and I think people are going to be very moved by this book, by yeah. its content, right. and they're going to learn a lot about this incredible woman who I am proud to call my client and my friend because she's had an amazing life. Mm -hmm. And this book is incredibly insightful. And I am very anxious for people to read it. I, I have to agree with that. I, I read a couple of the excerpts mm -hmm. um, from the book. And I was really just struck by the details that you, you put in there about being a stripper, about being in the adult entertainment industry, things that I never knew happen and, and thing and and the women that are involved it's a dangerous profession uh -huh. and, and you go into that yeah, um, quite a bit and you also go into your love of horses and I'm an animal lover I was really struck by the story um, of your horse Jace Jade Jade um, and and how she was sort of untamable but you tamed her mm -hmm. is that some sort of metaphor metaphor maybe <laughs> okay okay uh, we got another sneak preek into some of it about your time at cinema and the strip club that mm -hmm. you were some of it is so raunchy we can't even really say it on the air well, here you, yeah you didn't really think i'd hold anything back no no, no. is it honest. a book you'd want your daughter to read and learn yes from? but not until she's of certain age mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you want sure people, yeah what do you want people to learn from what do you want um, them to take away from it I, the book is actually dedicated to my daughter it's mm -hmm. it was written for her i felt um and there was a period of time where I, I was like, great, now I can't write a book, even though I've been working on this book for years, because people are going to use it against me and say I did it for this reason, so I can't write this book. And then that has now turned again after, you know, everybody knows that a lot of the 60 Minutes was cut down for time. And there are things that I said in my interview that I really wanted people to know that were very important to me mm -hmm. that I didn't get to say. So I was like, I'm going to write everything and include it and people can think what they want about me but at least it's the truth well, it's not also, like they haven't been thinking that about me anyway you so. also had a hell of a childhood yeah. and you survived it and well, that's people will be knocked that's out by the that's book. interesting just saying it's gonna be it's gonna be a long three weeks before the book comes out for donald trump <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know what it's not it's a that's a piece of the book the book right. is that's really it. About you, yeah. and that's yeah. the most important thing here. And 100%. it's in your words. Uh, you could tell yeah. you, you wrote it. Yeah. You? yeah, there's a lot of uh, four-letter words in it. I didn't realize I was that bad <laughs> until, I, <laughs> until I read the final version. Yeah, you're not alone, babe. 